Although strictly speaking, ASP is about computing the stable models of a logic program, it was a nice asset right from the beginning that early ASP servers such as S models had the possibility to compute optimal models. So not only stable models, but among the stable models, the optimal ones. And optimality was described by minimization, optimization statements. Actually, they can be minimized or maximized statements. So the basic idea is that each such minimization statement expresses a cost function. And there may be several ones and they are lexicographically ordered. But let's detail this one after the other again. So the primitive optimization statement is a minimized statement. And with this keyword here, minimize, and in, in Klingo, we'll see in a sec that this is preceded by a hash as usual. And there are also maximization statements, but they are reduced actually to minimization statements as we will see on the next slide. Now, such a minimization statement is made up of something like uh, conditional weights. So these guys here, W1 to Wn are weights. Then we have here a set of literals and they form a condition. So more or less, whenever the condition here L, L1 to Lm are true, then the weight is taken into account when summing up all the weights in this set. Right? So you minimize the sum of all weights that have a satisfied condition. Now the different um, cost function or objective functions as they are uh, often called actually uh, are distinguished by priority levels. So more or less each of these uh, conditional weights here may have a priority level and all of them are and, and these guys are actually gathered in the solver according to the priority level. So you may actually have several minimized statements with different priorities levels all mixed over the place. More or less the solver looks at the priority level and then sorts them, sorts them out. What then happens is called also lexicographic optimization. So it's more or less like in a telephone book you first look at the uh, cost function with the highest priority and then you compare two stable models and if they are equal then you look at the one with the next highest priority and if they are equal you want to look at the one at the next highest priority and then once there is a change when one is smaller than the other then this is preferred to the other one just like in again with names and telephone books where you look at the first letter first, if they are the same, you look at the second letter, etc. Right? So this is actually also called multi-objective optimization, just that the different um, cost functions or objective functions are here ordered by lexicographically. Right? So what I more or less already said is the, the rough meaning of such a statement is it's a directive and it, it's not part of the program, it's a directive that instructs the ASP solver to compute optimal models and by minimizing a sum of weights by descending levels. And descending level is again this way of, of doing things lexicographically. Okay, so as mentioned, minimized statements are the primitive uh, optimization mechanisms. There are also maximized statements. And whenever you write a maximized statement, it's just translated into a minimized statement by putting, putting, making the weights negative, by putting a negation the top of it or in front of it and this you may actually when you when you mini when you maximize actually weights the output for instance of class will be a negative number because class only sees at the end the minimization and it doesn't even know that there was originally a maximization so you'll not notice it when you do this for the first time now let's look at a small example configuration and in particular computer configuration is a cool example to illustrate the strength of ASP Think of it, it's all about choices, right? Which monitor to choose, which keyboard to choose, which boards to choose, and so on and so forth, right? And then of course we have the choice rules or cardinality constraint that we can use to describe this. You put in all the monitors into a set, then you say you need at least one and at most two of them. Or the keyboards, you put them all in, exactly one keyboard. Also, you may have dependencies. I don't know, you have a lot of USB devices and you make, have to make sure that there are enough sockets, right? And uh, all this is very, very nice to describe all feasible computer configurations, all possible ones. But what you then want to do, because there will be a lot, is to say what are the optimal ones, and then you, dis you describe some criteria, what is optimal. So here's an example how we can use optimization statements to this end. 
So here the idea is more or less to, well, just to talk about hard disks. So whenever I have this predicate HD here, I talk about hard disks. There are three of them, one, two, three. And the idea is I want to maximize the capacity of the hard disk while minimizing the price. And so the idea is hard disk one has a capacity of 250, hard disk two of 500, three of 750. And accordingly, actually, hard disk one only costs 30 bucks, hard disk two 40, and hard disk three 60. But now we want to say actually that we, we minimizing price because we're a bit short of money, right? Minimizing price is more important than maximizing capacity. That's more what, what we have here. And we can implement this that one is more important than the other via the priority level. So here, this is about minimizing the price. And here we put priority level two. And then uh, for maximizing the capacity, we have a priority level of one. Accordingly, when we now have two configurations, we first compare them uh, by looking at the smallest, which one has a smaller, uh, here's a smaller price for the hard disk configuration. And we then, and if they are both equal, then we look at, at the capacity uh, of the hard disks, right? So that's a bit the idea by, have, by ordering these two cost functions or objective functions lexicographically. Good, so this is more or less uh, what we can do. In fact, this is not the nicest writing because what you can actually do, the parameters of each hard disk, right? So that this guy has a capacity of 250 and that the level for this is one, you can actually add in the representation of the hard, it's an attribute of the hard disk. You can, of course, distribute this over, over several facts, but in, in any case, you can uh, then compact everything by, uh, by drawing on, on, the, on the parameters of the hard disk. Here, the capacity, you, you, you connect it with this variable here, and the price, you connect it here with this variable. And you could do the same thing also with the priority level, but I have not done this here now. Okay, so. This is a very, well, shallow or, or, or brief overview of op on optimization statements. But you may recall from the slide on language constructs in the introduction that there are also weak constraints. And in fact, weak constraints uh, are equivalent to minimization statements. And it really depends on, on the application or your taste, actually, uh, what you prefer. Let us just look at the same example with weak constraints. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, that was a bit fast. So again, weak constraints are an alternative means to express objective functions. And whether you choose weak constraints or minimize statements, it doesn't matter, it's up to your taste, okay? Syntactically, they look like integrity constraints, just that they have this, or that I use this squirrely arrow here to indicate that these are soft constraints, unlike integrity constraints, which are hard constraints. In addition, so these are the conditions more or less. Once they are satisfied, you pay a penalty of W. Uh, and in addition, you have, as before, this priority level here. And if you look at the, at the, at the elements of this, they are exactly um, like the conditional weights with the priority level that we had with minimize statements, right? Just that there the notation was different, right? But here it's the same thing. A weight is added at a certain priority level if these conditions here are satisfied. Okay, so instead of writing one minimized statements, for instance, with several of these guys inside here, you have several uh, weak constraints that you can write separately. Okay, in, in the same way, if you want to write a max or want, if you want to use weak constraints to express a maximized statements, then you have to use negative weights. Okay, so uh, let's look at our example just to, 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 to be able to compare to what we have uh, seen before. So again, if you use this simplistic representation where you have each hard disk, so if you, if you choose hard disk 1, then you pay a penalty of 30. If you choose hard disk 2, you pay a penalty of, of 40. And the rank of, this, uh, of, this, um, of these costs is priority level 2. Again, you can do this much nicer if you use variables where you say, well, uh, this is the idea of my heart is that's the price and that's the cost. And here, the penalty that I pay if I chose this, this heart disk here is P. Okay, so after all, it wasn't so, so bad, right? So this more or less closes our small section on optimization. And next we look at language formats. Hope you enjoyed it and keep with us, bye.